Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. If you're like many of my friends, you're probably going through a lot of stress and anxiety right now. That can often be amplified by lack of information and general confusion about what's going on. One of the things that I hear about rather frequently is why some people don't seem to be affected by viruses that can otherwise be dangerous or deadly in other individuals. A lot of this goes back to the idea that viruses don't affect everyone in the same way. Someone who gets a virus but doesn't seem to really be affected by it at all is often characterized as asymptomatic. The term asymptomatic refers to someone not having any symptoms of a virus, disease, or condition that they have been confirmed to have. This can often be confused with the term pre-symptomatic, which means that a person has a virus but isn't showing any symptoms yet. Emphasis on yet. With incubation times varying depending on what virus you're talking about, only time can really tell whether a pre-symptomatic person will end up having symptoms or not. Beyond a person being asymptotic, an individual's experience with a virus like the flu can vary greatly. Even if a person has symptoms, they might not get as sick as someone else. The same type of virus may only cause mild symptoms in one person where they can be treated at home while sending another person to the hospital in critical condition. There's a lot that goes into why someone may be affected more or less by a virus, but elderly and people with pre-existing conditions tend to be hit harder. Some health experts also believe that genetic variations may come into play. It could possibly be that genes that support your body's immune system response to a virus may differ from person to person, or maybe even that particular blood types could carry some sort of protective genetic traits that help protect you from getting sick. But no matter what's behind it, the unfortunate the unfortunate truth is that most people who have a virus can spread it, no matter how bad they are personally affected. While it's easy to wrap your head around how a person who is showing symptoms can spread a virus, especially if they are coughing or sneezing, the thing is that people who are asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic can still spread a virus in many cases. Take the flu for instance, since that's something that we've been able to pin down pretty well in terms of how it transmits. A person with the flu can still spread the virus and infect others before they start showing symptoms, and even if they've never shown any symptoms at at all. As a reference, according to a 2016 study, about 16% of people who get the flu are asymptomatic. Granted, since the flu and similar viruses are thought to primarily spread by droplets when a person coughs, sneezes, or talks, it only makes sense that a person displaying symptoms may be more likely to spread a virus if they're coughing and sneezing all the time. However, a person with symptoms may be more likely to take precautions and isolate themselves from others, so an asymptomatic person could be just as dangerous, if not more, if they're not altering their lifestyle and still interacting with others. Remember, even just talking can spread a virus under the right conditions. A person can get a virus like the flu from contaminated surfaces, though this usually happens less often than getting it directly from someone who is sick. No matter where they get the virus from, a person usually gets infected when it travels into their system from places like the eyes, nose, or mouth. So are you someone who gets sick often? How have you been affected by it? If you're comfortable with sharing, let me know your story in the comments below. Or let me know what we should talk about next. Curious to know what you should do when you're stuck inside for weeks? You're gonna wanna check out this video. Indoor pollutants can trigger asthma or allergy attacks or cause irritation, headaches, or flu-like symptoms. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to wash your hands. Wash your hands, guys. Thank you.